Welcome to our lecture online. Here in this example, we're looking at an object on an inclined plane. There is indeed friction between the mass and the plane, and we're trying to find the acceleration, assuming that the acceleration will be down the inclined plane. Now, in this particular example, there really isn't any difference between doing it a traditional way, where we simply look at the object or the system and look at all the forces acting on the system, or doing the free body diagram because there's only one object there so we get the exact same result. So notice though that we have the free body diagram and we have indeed the direction of the acceleration and all the forces acting on the object and we've taken the weight of the object mg and divided it into the two components perpendicular and parallel to the incline. So those are now the only resulting forces and notice that the mg sine theta is aiding the acceleration and the mg sine theta times mu, or actually, no, that's not sine theta, that has to be cosine theta, because it's the normal force times mu, so it's mg cosine theta mu, which is in the opposite direction, so this is opposing the acceleration, and notice that these two forces simply cancel each other out. So what that means is that we now have the net force, which is mg sine theta, which is the force aiding the acceleration, minus the mg cosine theta times mu opposing the acceleration, which is equal to the mass m times acceleration. Now right away you realize that all terms have an m in it, so the m cancels out, like this. And so now when we turn the equation around, we have a is equal to g sine theta minus g cosine theta times mu. And when we factor out a g, we have a is equal to sine theta minus the cosine theta times mu multiplied times g. And now if we want to find out what the actual acceleration is, we can go ahead and plug in the numbers. So we have a is equal to the sine of 30 degrees minus the cosine of 30 degrees multiplied times 0.2 n times g. And so now we have a is equal to, so we have 30, take the cosine of that, times 0.2, subtract that from the sine of 30, which should be 0.5, and multiply that times 9.8, and we have an acceleration of 3.2 meters per second squared. But again, you can see that the free body diagram can be set up in such a way so that the acceleration has a particular direction and that you only consider the forces that either are opposite or in the same direction of the acceleration as adding or aiding or opposing the acceleration. And so that's how we do it with an inclined plane and just one object on it. In the next video, we'll have two objects on the inclined plane, and so that will be a little bit different.